Cincinnati City Council is now moving forward on a plan that could just wipe out 10,000 drug convictions. Just today, council members heard about the negative effects relatively minor marijuana convictions can have on people. WLWT News 5's Andrew Setters takes a look at why even the police chief supports this. For a couple years, starting in 2006, the city of Cincinnati was actually tougher on people caught with small amounts of pot than the state of Ohio was. People caught with 100 grams of marijuana or less in the city of Cincinnati faced a stiffer penalty. Any kind of a small amount of marijuana conviction could actually have a devastating impact on your life. Members of council hearing from an attorney with the public defender's office about the impact those marijuana convictions are still having today. Your ability to find housing can be impacted by a small amount of marijuana. Your ability to go to school, get an education can be impacted by a small amount of marijuana. Your future career path can be adversely impacted. The convictions were fourth degree misdemeanors, which can haunt you in facing a background check. Today, Cincinnati Police Chief Jeffrey Blackwell testified before council. He said he would have not asked for tougher enforcement if he were chief in 2006, and he supports what council's considering today. We're in support of anything that helps Cincinnati become a better city, and we think that, that, that this, in fact, does that. Council member Charlie Winburn has been championing the expungement issue, calling for council to undo a past mistake. These people that we're talking about now sealing their records. We're not talking about letting criminals off and, and, and they, we're letting folk off. We're being soft on crime. No, we're being smart on crime. This ordinance, if passed, would allow judges to reclassify those past convictions as minor misdemeanors. That would allow the offenders to then go back and ask for those records to be sealed. It would only impact those convictions for less than 100 grams of marijuana. From City Hall, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5. All right, so now Councilman Chris Smitherman, chairman of the Wallen Public Safety Committee, was hoping to get an ex the expungement ordinance before the full council tomorrow. He's now hoping for a unanimous vote in support of it.